Well, hey friends, and welcome back to my channel, Organized with Joy. As you can see, I'm in a different location, and as I've talked about, I am traveling through Arizona to visit YouTube friends, and I'm here with my friend Jess from Jess on My Rose, and then this is my friend Terry, Hi. and her channel is Terry's Corner, and Terry actually traveled here from California so the three of us could hang out, and I thought it would be fun to just have a little chat, like just three girls sitting around chatting for my Thoughtful Thursday video today. So I wanted to talk today, I know I have talked about this in the past, um, maybe adjacent to other topics or just in general, but I wanted to talk about getting outside of your comfort zone. And y'all probably know that I'm big into encouraging people, especially women, to get outside of their comfort zone. And y'all, I'm really outside of my comfort zone. I traveled uh, across two states to get here on my own, you know, driving solo across uh, Texas and then New Mexico and into Arizona. And I'm gonna be gone for two weeks and this is Definitely something that is outside of my comfort zone, but it's something I really wanted to do. So um, I just want to have a little chat with my friends, and I thought I would just share this chat with you to encourage you today. So, yeah. ladies, thanks so much Thank for you. joining me on my Thoughtful <laughs> Thursday. This is so fun. I'm so happy to be on your channel. Yes, and first you know, time. First time. We've done collaborations throughout our journey here in on YouTube and I think is now so much more fun and so much more interesting to be on each uh, other's channel live in person it's yes. like a whole different experience yeah. and talking about the uh, getting out of your comfort zone it is very very true how it's just being such a journey you just challenging yourself to meet other people in person, traveling outside your state, and here we are, three different states all together. I think like trying to get out of your comfort zone is like a learning experience. You learn so much. Um, like for me, traveling is something that I don't do often on my own. And so coming here was super scary, and we can talk all about it more, but I think having, um, like being ready for it helps you become stronger and having my girls <laughs> hold my hand. I was just saying to Jess, like, thank you for holding my hand, even if it's virtual, it's not really, you're not really there, but I feel like I've got, I've got them to help me out, so. Yeah, that's very true. I feel like, um, I feel like I am used to being out of my comfort zone because you know, like English is my second language. Um, uh, I was born in a different country and being raised and culturally and everything, it, like my whole life is being out of my comfort zone. So I'm <laughs> yeah. used to it. It yeah. still not, doesn't make it any easier. Mm -hmm. um, but um, but I think it's it, there's something to tell to be able to encourage you know others when they're struggling, when they're having a hard time, making that extra step to move forward to do something that they're not used to um you know it's we all go through that and i think it's good to be able to like we are sharing with our community here to be able to share those um those challenges that we can you know encourage others as well yeah and i honestly i was thinking about this last night while i was laying in bed like it's scary to be away from home even though my kids are adults now it's still scary that I'm so far away from them. I was thinking, oh my gosh, what if there's an emergency? And my husband reminded me everything is gonna be fine. Um, but I was thinking about how when I'm in my comfort zone, you know, like I was thinking about being at home, um, how I feel safe, I feel comfortable, I'm, I'm close to my kids and my husband in case they need anything. Getting outside <laughs> of your comfort zone, it really makes you feel alive. Like yes. that's the thing is like, um, you know, traveling here, it was a little bit scary, but it was also so exciting. And I think about um, last night, we were doing these um, face masks together. Terry brought face masks for all of us. And check out check Terry's Instagram. Yes. She, she'll have a reel of us putting these face masks on. And we were just laughing so hard. Yeah. And I think my belly is sore from that. Yes, my yeah. cheeks are <laughs> my cheeks mouth, are like, oh, yeah. like a permanent yeah. smile on my face. <laughs> yes, it's like we've been 
laughing so much in general. And yeah. that just makes you feel mm. so alive. Yeah. Like just doing something outside of your comfort zone while it's scary when you first take those first steps to go do it yeah. once you're there and you're in the moment you're like oh my gosh this is so amazing this yeah. is so fun and you know when you lay in bed at night in a different city and you're thinking about your family you're worried but then you know you're in those moments where where you're talking and laughing and it's just it it's amazing yeah yeah there's something to tell about that because um when you are, um, when you're like um, getting out of your comfort zone, you start thinking like, it's kind of like anything else in life. Like if you're gonna make a change, you know, like somebody, an entrepreneur that needs to get out of the comfort zone to be able to start something new, something is gonna require a lot of work, a lot of like challenging, talking to people that you're not feeling comfortable with, you know, engaging different situations that they're not used to, they're brand new. But Downloading Uber for the first time. <laughs> exactly. You know, like all those like things. All those learning opportunities. Like yeah. It's, it's tell, tell, tell us more about your experience like with yeah. the, tra the whole travel experience. Yes. 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 So, okay, I couldn't sleep the night before. Yeah. I was telling the girls, like, I can't sleep. I woke up at one and that was it. Oh. And I was so nervous. And it's funny how you say, like, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. And I didn't feel that excitement, to be honest, at first. But the moment I stepped into the airport and I had like the first lady help me out, like, how do I print out my ticket, my e-ticket? Yeah. <laughs> After that, it's like all the fears went away because I realized like, oh my gosh, I get to see the girls. I'm jumping in a plane by myself. <laughs> I'm like super exciting and I had that feeling. And every, and then that, there was another hurdle like, of the connecting flight, am I gonna miss it? Because mm -hmm. I've flown before, I've flown with kids before, but it's so, um, I've almost missed the plane before and that, that fear, that previous experience you've yeah. had, kind of, you you kind of emulate it in, in this experience now. So yeah. there's that, but every leg of the flight made me more and more excited. Yeah. So. And then the and when I saw it, I was like, and then the Uber. <laughs> she, okay. Yeah. Her first time Uber experience. Uber. She didn't have the app downloaded. Yeah. We had to, we so had to hold her hand through. Yeah. The, the Uber was interesting because I didn't know like how to communicate with the driver. So I called my friend, <laughs> call a friend, <laughs> Jess, and I said, Jess, I'm outside the airport, but I don't know where I'm at. I'm at. That was my- Where are they supposed to pick yeah, you up? Yeah, where are they supposed to pick me up? Like, how can I tell the Uber driver, pick me up here on, I don't know, you know, gate B or main mm -hmm. terminal or what, if I don't know where in the airport, you know, and I don't know how big this airport is. It's my first time here in, in uh, Tucson. So I called Jess and when she said, oh, okay, you're standing by the main terminal and in front of you is that middle lane. And I knew it's from then, cause I said, is this the, there was a name to that middle lane. The and when you confirmed it, it shuttle yeah. Pickup. Yeah, so when she confirmed it, it was like, oh, okay, now now I feel more confident. I know how to catch an Uber. But yeah, I, I didn't want to hit that um, reserve button until I called you. had everything clear up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I kept refreshing too. I kept losing the driver. So I was like, oh, another four minutes because I couldn't yeah. decide. So there was, yeah, there was that piece. It's interesting um, how it's just like, it could be such a little thing or a big thing, you know, like it just depends on the person and something that you're not used to, um, how it can like just create anxiety and stress, but you know, you made it. Yeah, I, know. Know. You I made it. it. I feel so good. I feel stronger. Oh, I feel good. more like braver yes. because it's been a while since I flew by myself. And even if I did fly before, it's like a one-off thing, you know? It's not something I do regularly. So um, I just I just know I'm more confident now and I know like how things are gonna go. Mm -hmm. And going back, I thought I'd be stressed again, but then I'm like, I learned how to look up the maps at the airport while I was okay. sitting and waiting for my flight. So it's now like on the return flight home, I think I, I'm pretty, it's gonna go smoothly, so I'm yeah. confident about that. 
Yeah. I think it, we, we have to remind ourselves that we're capable, mm -hmm. you know, we're strong, we're, uh, we're, we're smart and <laughs> just like keep, keep yeah. grinding that in our yeah. heads to kind of like get through it. Like you can't get through it. Yeah. A lot of people has done it. We can get it done. <laughs> yeah. So yes. and uh, just positive thinking and encourage. Uh, self encouragement. encouragement. Yes, yes, yes. Or, or have your friends because I yeah, told Terry, I'm too. like Terry. I know you are an intelligent woman. I and know that you can do this. a lot. <laughs> that helped a lot. What, yeah. what, what was it? The instance when you said that there was something. <clears throat> I was asking you a question, or I was. Like, all the, yeah, all the the airport, was, all the airport questions. Like, oh know, yes, uh, it was. I think it was about it was the kiosk and like printing. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. I was like, it's very intuitive. I promise, you are an intelligent. <laughs> Woman, you're gonna figure this out. Yeah. <laughs> that helped a lot because I'm like, where is the kiosk? Does every um, um, airline. airline have its own kiosk? And so yeah, she said everybody was saying, even um, our friend Jen, Jen mm -hmm. said, oh, I the kiosk is super easy. We yeah. do it all the time. So just you know, feeding off of their own experiences made me feel like, yeah, you know what, I can do this. And plus, I was telling the girls too, like we're we're all moms. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've all like taken care of things, yeah. You know, <laughs> and it's but it's different because when I had my kids, I was like in charge, and they were depending on me. So I had no choice but to, you know, take yeah. care of you know do get it done. And um, and I've flown with the kids before, but it's different being on your own. Um, I think even though the kids are depending on you, knowing that you have somebody there still made, gave a little bit of comfort. Yeah. So, yeah, because I was trying to figure that out. I was like, I've flown with kids. I, I don't know why I'm so afraid. I, I didn't feel afraid when I was with my kids. Maybe just a little, uh -huh. you know, it's not like super... But I think you also it. kind of, uh, it's a mental thing. Like, mm -hmm. you know, now, now you really have to stay strong you have to yeah. it's, a, it's like you're the mom you're right yeah. there so it's a special thing yeah, yeah. now you're like more vulnerable you're by yourself so there's nothing that you you, you know you can rely on but yeah how was uh, for you joy yeah, the either. experience in driving <laughs> eight, so far because eight, you still have a long eight. way to go yes yes um actually it was it's been really Good, honestly. So I don't know if y'all remember, but uh, last year at about this time, I drove up to Indiana with my son. And on that trip, I learned that I really enjoy driving, like just putting on music or putting on a podcast or even, or Marco Polo's. <laughs> y'all kept me company yeah. while I was driving or or chatting on yeah. Marco Polo. Yeah. 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 I would say I would take a Marco Polo for Joy so to keep her company on her long drive. So. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it, it just like went by so fast. I think uh, for me, one of the things that I wanted to accomplish on this trip and being outside of my comfort zone is being independent and being alone. Um, I know I've mentioned this before, but um, I'm coming up on my 28th year marriage. Uh, no, 28th wedding anniversary. And so I've been married a really long time, you know? Um, basically, I got married when I was five. Okay, <laughs> I think everybody knows on this channel how old I am. <laughs> so I got married when I was 21. And so I'm, I've just been for so long used to having that partner and just having someone there. And, you know, now that my kids are older and more independent, I have this opportunity to to stretch myself and to just be more independent. And it it has been interesting and kind of hard. So the first night I stayed near Marfa, Texas, and it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, Texas. And my- you showed it to us, I would not <laughs> be there by myself. I was like, I feel like the coyotes are gonna yeah. get me or something. I was so worried about that. I did lock the door, I locked it up tight. Um, but I was just like laying there in bed and I, I had to turn on Netflix because y'all it was so silent and I told one of my friends on Marco Polo I was like I probably should have embraced that silence and like used it and just like been in my thoughts but it was it was too much for me maybe later on in the trip yeah. <laughs> I'll be yeah. ready for that silence and I mean you know my family it's not like they're really loud or anything you know I when my kids were young the house was loud but they're older now the house isn't loud anymore mm -hmm. but 
the, that silence mm -hmm. was a different kind of silence. Um, so yeah, just, um, and I guess Terry, for you, it was kind of the same thing as like the independence thing. And yeah. I think as moms, it's like, especially, you know, as our kids get older, it's like, we've spent so many years just like yeah. not being independent. Mm -hmm. Like we, we have our husbands, we have our children and they're just always there. Yeah. And we don't really have a lot of opportunities to you know, be yeah. independent. And so with that being said, Joy, do you want to share a little bit more of something that you're going to do out of your comfort zone <laughs> in a couple of days? Yes. So a little spoiler alert. I mean, I'm sure you'll see it on my Instagram before this video goes live anyway. So be sure because, to follow us. Yeah. Yes. Follow all of us. All of us. Yeah. I will, I will tag their channels and I will link their Instagram pages down in my description box so that y'all can go check out their social media. Um, obviously, I adore them, so y'all need to check them out. But yes, so I'm doing something very outside of my comfort zone. And it's not, it's, it's not spontaneous. This is something that I've been thinking about for years and years and years. Like, literally, I've been thinking about this for over <laughs> 10 years. Um, and I finally decided this is my 50th year on the planet Earth. I am getting my first tattoo. <laughs> and I'm getting it here in Tucson. <laughs> Um, yes, I, I have been wanting to get this tattoo on my arm that um, says enough. And basically, I have wanted to have this for a really long time, but I feel like the timing is really appropriate for me right now because I feel like I'm truly getting to this place where I'm learning that I don't need external validation. I can validate myself. I am enough. I am enough and I am hopeful that it will spark conversations with friends or even strangers yeah. like asking me what the tattoo means so that I can encourage others in that oh. and you you are enough so um, I just want that reminder on my arm every day whenever I'm feeling like insecure or down or not enough then I have that reminder. But this is certainly outside of my comfort zone. I had to have several friends, and then um, I have two sisters, well, I have four sisters all together, but two of them have tattoos, and I've been talking to all of them about the details of getting a tattoo, and do you regret oh. it, and all of this, and so I've, I've had encouragement from friends and family about getting this tattoo, so I am, excited but also nervous mm -hmm. um but again it's like one of those things where life I'm, is too short yes, yes life is too short i'm pushing myself outside of my comfort zone mm -hmm. and honestly like with that i feel like um when you push yourself outside of your comfort zone it's like you're you're experiencing life mm -hmm. you know you know i talked about it in the sense of like i feel alive um, I feel like these days it's so easy to be in your routines, right? Um, especially if you are a mom, yeah. but also to live more online and to be, um, you know, on social media or watching Netflix or YouTube. And I am trying really hard to be intentional mm -hmm. about getting away from screens yeah. and doing things out in the world and you know yes. spending time with friends and talking to strangers and all of that and it's not easy you know it's it's easier to just sit and watch Netflix or watch YouTube but you just feel so much more alive when you're out in the world and doing things you know mm -hmm. well that's that it circles back to the the fact of you know getting doing things that are challenging it's sometimes the best things that you can do for yourself and to others really because like like you joy you're saying that um i have done that and recognize how important it is for me and my family to spend quality time and therefore i shared a little bit on my youtube channel about that how we have structure 
different routines and we have like afternoon for game night, afternoon for you I know sporty night know. and then movie night and yeah. so we are so busy with our lives connected 24 7 you know but then we have this dedicated time to really embrace and engage with each other and connect with each other which is the basis of everything else mm -hmm. so yeah. it's yeah it's important to recognize that sometimes you gotta get things that are not as easy or they don't come as easy as others but then you know they're 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 the important things right and it's worth it mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah i love that you do that too i yeah. know i've told you that's mm -hmm. so amazing how intentional you are with your kids and mm -hmm. being present with them i yeah. think that's so important because mm -hmm. they grow up fast oh uh, yeah it's so sad <laughs> i know and um speaking of kids and the silence that you guys were talking about earlier it just reminded me at the airports when i was in the planes and mm -hmm. i was by myself and there was a family Kid, the two kids were like bickering over a candy and uh, you stole my candy no you ate mine and so they were fighting over and then the parents were like stop stop who told you to stop you know and it just it put a smile in my face because i, I could have been i was that family yeah. you know like maybe not in that exact same way but we were that crazy family too that <laughs> was on the plane and and so when that was happening i was like Oh, I'm gonna appreciate my silence and put on yeah. that, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah. just you know watch the movie on the plane. So it was, it was nice doing this because I think when you make time for yourself and it's not always for somebody, yes. it just it it rejuvenates you and it recharges. Yeah, recharges. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, friends, um, well, we need to wrap up our conversation here because we are off today. We are going on a little tour yes. at a winery, um, so we are off. But um, basically just the encouragement is to um, find things that maybe are uncomfortable that will push you, but remember the reward. Remember it is, it is going to have it's going to reap benefits for you to do things that are difficult, do things that are outside of your comfort zone, but you will definitely see the reward in it. Yeah. And I just wanted to add to that because I don't know if I was meant to stumble into this. I opened up my high school yearbook and every high schooler mm -hmm. had a little saying at the bottom of their like had a quote or like oh. your favorite quote yeah. under their picture you know everyone had the all the all the things like the chess player his quote was checkmate or, uh, yeah you know, it's just super very meaningful because i think in high school you were just that you know you're finding yourself in stuff mm -hmm. anyway i had written the greatest risk you'll ever take is to never take any risk at all Oh wow! And I don't know if Love I was meant that. in high school. In high school, look at you, Terry. Wow. I don't That's know. If awesome. I was, yeah, I'm meant to find that. You know, um, why am I too weird? I don't know. Oh, yeah. That so is so awesome. it, that was the other thing that I was like, oh, this is a sign. I'm gonna travel by myself. Oh, oh so that's amazing. amazing. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Totally so was. I. Yeah. Let's not make a dramatic. <laughs> Hold on, let's cut this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's I was awesome. just when you said change, I was like. Oh my gosh, that I've been yeah. wanting to like insert that, but <clears throat> that is yeah, amazing. I love that. I, and you know yeah. how I love my quotes. <laughs> yes, yes. So, so that's that's, that's really very good. special. Yeah, and really, it really was meaningful. Nice stumbling into that, yeah. it just kind of reminded me. You know what? I do take risks. I do these things. Yes. You know? Aww. Um, yeah, this is it's very, very special to me to be able to see that and just see you guys here. I'm very, very grateful. And I will be vlogging all the things that we're going to be doing on my channel, yeah. um, you know, during the wine tour and everything. Yeah. And um, this is a wine unique experience for me. I'm personally um, yeah. so me grateful too. to have you guys here. And hopefully we can continue doing this because yes. it's definitely well well worth it. Like yes. I mean, I didn't know what to expect. Who knew these these could be like crazy ladies? <laughs> <laughs> I got into a where my flight to? You know, we don't know, but they turned out to be amazing, <laughs> and it's like my love for them just grew. Aww, yes, yes. yes. Well, ladies, I so appreciate your friendships. Like seriously, I feel like. 
every friend I have just brings something meaningful and special to my life, and both of you have definitely done that for me. Aww. And so, and you I do that, yes, same equally. Aww. Well, and I so appreciate you joining me on my channel today for a thoughtful Yay. Thursday. Thank you for it's having so us in your you. channel. Yes, I'm so glad y'all could join me. Well, I appreciate you watching today, friends, and as always, I like to hear your thoughts on our thoughts, so please let me know down in the comments, and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye! Bye.